Why does territorial expansion matter in this modern, interconnected world? This question might seem out of place in an era where borders are increasingly blurred by global trade and the Internet. However, the recent addition of 386,000 square miles to America's territory beneath the sea tells a different story. In December of the year 2023, the United States announced a significant shift in its geographic coordinates that define its continental shelf's outer limits. These new boundaries, according to the U.S. Department of State, now extend in parts beyond 200 nautical miles from the coast. This vast expanse, known as the Extended Continental Shelf, or ECS, is an area of the continental shelf that lies under shallow water. The largest section of America's ECS is in the Arctic, stretching 350 nautical miles to the north in the eastern section, and more than 680 nautical miles in the western portion. But why does this matter? It's not just about adding territory. Like other nations, the United States has rights under international law to conserve and manage the resources and vital habitats on and under its ECS. This area, rich in corals, crabs, and other marine life, is vital for the conservation of biodiversity. The Department of State also revealed that America's ECS extends to six other regions, the Atlantic East Coast, the Pacific West Coast, the Bering Sea, the Mariana Islands, and two portions of the Gulf of Mexico. The land area added to U.S. territory is almost twice the size of Spain or five times the size of the United Kingdom. The implications of this expansion are profound. According to the Washington, D.C.-based think tank, the Wilson Center, this extension significantly affects the U.S.'s efforts to secure its territorial rights in the Arctic region. The United States, rich in undersea territory abundant in oil, natural gas, minerals, and sea life, has major economic interests to which it has sovereign rights under the law of the sea. With the largest exclusive economic zone in the world, this expansion allows the U.S. to safeguard its sovereign rights to areas submerged underwater even more effectively. In conclusion, territorial expansion, especially beneath the sea, is about more than just adding to a country's size. It's about securing economic interests, conserving biodiversity, and asserting sovereignty over valuable resources. So, while the world may be becoming more interconnected, the importance of territorial borders, even those underwater, should not be underestimated.